feel like instead of that lady recording me, she could have just helped me. I got a dog, two carts are full of shit I need for my house. Um, I'm calling my baby daddy. Is he helping? No. So I don't know why he's chiming in either. Uh, this mommy shit is cool, but man, your mind is racing 36, 8 hours a day. And then transitioning to being everything in my situation. I don't know. Like, everything is just overwhelming. Uh, I'm still learning. Um, I love my baby. He's a good baby. I'm going to tighten up. Straight up. What the fuck you talking about? Big Rock got this. You hear me? Everybody make mistakes. Period. Go ahead and subscribe. You know, this is your second time back to the channel. Baby girl. And I'm starting this all saying baby girl because the baby is having a baby. So now, I'm going to um, start with the positive. I'm looking at this neck. And there's nothing on it. So good. Because you know, Walmart is the hood. So thank you for going to the hood and taking off those necklaces now too since this is the first incident and baby is like what three weeks old what is this this happened on the 19th or whatever no no that's about two three weeks old right baby about two or three so this first offense you get a little citation you know what i'm saying for me you get a little citation because what i have been noticing and people can talk all the stuff they want to talk. You always holding your baby. You may hold your baby like a football, but for me, the advice that was given to me was hold the baby like a football because you're not going to drop the baby. Now, everybody else have their own ways of holding the baby. People in Africa hold the baby different from people in Poland. People in California hold the baby different from people in New Zealand. The baby is being held. That is all that mattered to me because now when the baby is being held, that means the baby is not being neglected. So now if you always had your baby in a stroller, they'll be like, oh, she never hold her baby. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. I don't know why, but when I had my child, I was never in this like a bunch of advice. Because people already knew I was crazy and I wasn't going to take their advice anyways. Like, if they wanted to give me advice, they came to me, like, you know, with a with an open heart. Not, like, condemning, you know. So, I never had to experience the, da -da 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 -da, you know, I, I wasn't, I wasn't, um, I didn't, I, I never put my baby on social media. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just not like that, you know. So, and then on top of that, it's like... I was hard-headed and didn't listen anyway, so I never let anything like that get to me because I ain't know what the heck I was doing with my child. So, you know, it, I, I I never let it got, it got to me. I wholeheartedly mean this. I think you are a great mom and I think you are doing a great job because now you said something about you was left with um a kid for like nine months huh you couldn't leave me with no kids for, for nine months when i was in high school i'll be like somebody need to go watch this baby because i'm trying to go out so the fact that you and another brother watch a kid while y'all was in high school oh yeah i think that was the story something like that but you still young so you 23 so it had to be like around high school you know so just hearing that that i knew Krishan was going to be a good mom, you know, and, and the fact that you have a dog, so you've been bouncing around for three years and, uh, I don't know how long you had this dog, but I always see you a dog with this dog for the past three years. Now, Roxy, I don't know if Roxy is capable of being a good mom, you know, Roxy and Krishan are two different people. Roxy want to go out, have fun, drink, you know good bag um situation party um overwork um yeah so you know Krishan and Roxy gonna have to come together and raise this child you know because you gotta deal with you you got issues with yourself and unfortunately Pisces love to run and you a track star so it made sense you gotta you gotta figure out like I say, I have to say this to myself. 
Girl, you got really in, really in. Doing too much. Really in. Let's really in. What, what is for the better good of everything? Look at the whole picture. Stop looking at little sections of the picture because guess what? The whole picture is about this baby now. You have no life. Your life is over, you know? So, um, yeah, like, I, I felt bad in this little video, you know? And I was just like, you know what? I'm going to just tell her she's doing a great job because, like, whenever you go to, like, your um doctor's appointments, like, first two weeks, with, well, no, no, first whole year. But it's, like, those first, like, like month, that first month uh, appointment, I, I don't know. I, I think I went to the doctor, like, I think I lived at the doctor. I don't know. I was always at the doctor with the baby. So it's like, there I was like, you're doing a great job. <laughs> Oh, you, I think you bring the baby back the next day or two days after. <laughs> and they're like, you're doing a great job. <laughs> and in my head, I'm just like, I'm just holding the baby. Like, I'm not doing nothing. I'm literally just holding the baby. And at this point, I'm positive that I probably wasn't even holding the baby right. Because later on, probably when he's like a few months old, I was told to hold him like a football. So people keep leaving all these comments like, oh, all she do is hold the baby. Um, She holding baby like a football. I'm like, well, I was told to hold the baby like a football, you know? And then it's like, um, I'm just like, why are y'all telling me I'm doing a good job? Like, I'm literally just like here. I'm quiet. I don't have no questions because I don't even have, I don't even know what kind of questions to ask. These people make you go to the doctor with the baby all the time. All the time, the baby is needed at the doctor. Oh, you got to bring the doctor. I'm bringing the baby to the doctor because I don't want to go to jail. Uh, If you don't bring the baby to the doctor, you go to jail. Because I've seen too many times on the news that the people are not giving the, the, the babies medical care. So I'm like, shoot, if, if y'all want me here 30 days straight, okay. I'll be here 30 days straight. I'm not asking no questions. <laughs> shoot.